So today we're going to be looking at the Moen Agenta faucet, bathroom faucet, and I'm going to show you how to remove the flow restrictor. So normally uh, all the newer faucets come with flow restrictors to uh, limit water usage. And what happens as a side effect is the flow sometimes is very, very bad. Uh, for me, I mean, it's kind of okay. It's very weak right now. So what we want to do is like, we'll need to take the aerator out. And then once you take the aerator out, then you can remove what's called the flow restrictor. And once you remove that and you put it back in, then it will probably have a better flow. Uh, so there's another video, uh, it's, in the, it's in the description on how to remove the aerator. So if you need to know how to do that, go that first and then come back to this video. All right, so this is the aerator, um, it's removed. And when you're gonna look inside here, see that little white thing there? That is the flow restrictor. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, if you can find what's called a, the key, um, it's like a flow restrictor key, a restrictor key online that matches the size for this one, you can get that and you can put through here, you unscrew it and then pop it off. Another way is to use um, pliers. I have pliers here. These are the wrong kind. They're too short. They won't reach in the middle. So if you do use the plier method, um, you will need to get a really, really long nose plier in order to like um, pluck it from inside. You can see in here, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see in here, it's, there's some grooves. So you pull it and kind of like twist it counterclockwise a little bit and then slide it out. Now for me today, because it's already, um, at least mine is a little bit loose, I'm only, <laughs> I'm going to use the tool that I have, which is a uh, very small Allen wrench. I'm really just going to slide it out. So um, let me switch the camera over and then show you how that's done. So here it is again. Now you're doing this over the sink. Make sure you're, um, you plug your sink in case, you know, things fall and they go into your drain. So I am using what I have, which is the smallest uh, size here of a 564. And what I'm just going to do here is I'm just going to carefully kind of push it to the side to get some friction. It's better if this is dry. So if you can dry it up and do it, it's good. But, um, I'm just doing this and lightly just pulling it out. Slowly, you gotta be patient with this. So it's slowly coming out right now. You kind of see it's coming out, right? And there you go it fell off so this is your um flow restrictor so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this back into our faucet and then we'll test the flow out all right so here we go now i have the um flow restrictor piece out here i put back the um, aerator i snap back in the casing let's see how it goes perfect look at how strong that is Uh, there you go. That's how you uh, remove the uh, water flow restrictor and get a better flow in your faucet.